So the past couple years since I've had my uh, CNC machine that I made, I've been trying to get away with free software and just finally got tired of it. Had another CNC machine that I'm beta testing for a friend. And so I decided to purchase Dev Wing Foam 2. And so I was doing some test cuts. Um, most of the stuff that I want to fly or cut or build, this is pretty much the type of thing I would want to build. Just a little bit of taper, uh, maybe a slot for a uh, some fiberglass rods. And this was really quick. This It took me longer to design this on paper, like an Inkscape, than to actually design it in DevWing Foam. Um, just to enter it into DevWing Foam was just a, a few minutes. Uh, and then I've, you know, there it is, two matching pieces, you know, and then obviously bigger, different sizes, but it's all pretty much the same settings, just different lengths. But there is quite a lot of other settings in DevWing Foam. And so I took about five minutes and just made this uh, test cut with some scrap. And uh, that'll be the uh, movie that we just watched cutting this out. So I'm actually going to pop this out and let's see. Let's see what it looks like. There's just so much stuff that you can do in there for lightning holes, uh, connecting wing joiner tubes, um, uh, you know, the reinforcing on the top and the bottom. You can chop the leading edge off to put leading edge stock. You can chop the back off to put trailing edge stock. So this was kind of a test just to see what, what this, let's just move that all the way. And there is a little wing that I cut. It's just a Clark Y and you can imagine this could be any width or sweep. It took about 16 minutes. And this is, uh, I think that's supposed to be a 20 millimeter hole for like a carbon fiber tube. Um, now, if, if I was actually making a wing, I may not have combined all these things together. I just wanted to see what these 20% uh, thick lightning holes did. Obviously, I'd have to figure out how to glue that back together. Um, I, I cut this in the front. That's for like putting a two millimeter bar to reinforce. Oh, looks like it kind of melted that away. And then there was even an option to like cut off your ailerons in the back. You can have it like that, like that. It'll do like rounded. Pretty crazy all the stuff. So anyways, it came out pretty good. About a 16 minute cut. Let me just get my calipers and we'll measure that hole. <clears throat> Part of the settings is the diameter of the wire, the kerf. All that kind of stuff, so still, I'm still kind of dialing all this in. Let's see what do we got there. Well, that's just a little bit short of being... Oh, wait, maybe I did... Did I do 20 or 18? I'll have to check my settings, but... And that's really close to 20 within 2 millimeters. Huh. Anyways... I'll be doing a lot more videos on Dev Wing Foam and on this CNC table that I put together and I'm testing. So, talk to you guys later.